haven't done one with the mic in a while. Because <laughs> usually I'm doing like, you know, clothing stuff and I'm moving around a lot and it annoys me to listen back to my audio and hear a whole bunch of sounds in the back. Although that is probably gonna be making noise. Let's hope that the mic does not pick it up. But today I'm doing not so highly requested but still requested video. Just like the last one. The last one was requested too. Should I like? I'll do that in the future. I was gonna say, should I open up a Discord to be like, oh, what do you guys wanna see? We can chat and all that stuff. But I don't know if I'm gonna do that like now. I may do it farther along this journey, but not right now. Anyways, besides that, to the point of this video, today I'm gonna be doing a mildly requested how I edit my thumbnails video um so i don't know it took me like some time to quite figure out how i wanted my thumbnails to be because you know a lot of people like i'll show you guys some examples well you know when i while i'm talking a lot of people do like the thumbnails where they're like drawn it and it's like nice earthy tones you know it shows their little art abilities in there and then some people do like the typical like white lettering with black stroke pictures up on the screen and then this is like like the freaking like crazy people who do like those crazy thumbnails that i'm just like how the heck do you spend that much time on doing those types of thumbnails so i've settled for this nice thing that i got going on here but yeah okay so so the apps you're gonna be today appropriate monto and pixart because those are the ones that i use i don't really know if you'll need procreate but like for an element that i add into my thumbnails I use Procreate. Also to get my sizing right on my thumbnails, I use Procreate. Yeah, okay. So the first thing I usually do is like, after I'm done with the video, I do a thumbnail, which a lot of times I forget. So I just take like clips from the video, but it's usually the last step I do with editing. A basic thing would be for me to like, for this, hold up my computer in my iPad and like, and just do that for <laughs> like three minutes. Do a whole bunch of different poses, something else crazy like. Yeah, that's basically what I do. I just change up the poses. Let's do, let's do another pose because I'm gonna need to actually use a decent. And there you go. That's like, that's, yeah. That's it, that's my thumbnail, that's it. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next. But no, no, let's let's actually get started, which I'm gonna need to freaking stop the video, put the photo on my computer, screenshot it, bring the photo over to, it's a lot of freaking work. Now that it's been like a freaking 40 minutes, now that we've gotten the screenshots that we wanted from the little snippet that you just saw before, we're gonna choose between three here. We have this first one, the second one, which looks the same, but you know, it's not. If you realize my head is up more in this one and then it's tilted more than this one. But I think I'm gonna go with this one that we got going on right here. First step, procreate. So we have this stack and it's just all our thumbnails that we do. So you press plus, then you go to untitled canvas and it's size 1280 times 720 because that's the thumbnail size for YouTube. And then we press add, insert a photo. And look at that, bam, automatically fits into the size that we want. Next, you're gonna press the little wrench and you're gonna press share. Then you're gonna save it as a JPEG. Save your image. Now, we're gonna go over to Fonto and press the camera, photo album. We're gonna press this last photo here. And then here, we usually like, we would do like vibrance, but I may not use vibrance. No vibrance today. But now is where the fun part is. So we're gonna add text. And so we're gonna choose our font. And we have a many of fonts here. You can either use the regular fonts that Fonto comes with, or you can like download fonts off of defont.com. So I have like some ones here. And usually I check back to see what the last font was that I used. So I last just used this DJ Move font. So we're gonna use the Gothic steel font here sometimes we put like the literal title that we are titling the video and sometimes we just do whatever but we're gonna just title this thumbnail tips even though the title of the video is how i edit or whatever thumbnail 
But yeah, you see how small it is right now? Yeah, no, we don't want that. So then we go, I'm sorry, I'm moving fast. But then we go into style to which we have, we, I have like presets here of like all the different ones that I use, but we're gonna make, remake one of those today. So we're gonna go with a green text because I don't know if you noticed, but I have a theme going on with purples, greens, whites, and pinks sometimes. So last we had a lot of whites and purples, so now we're gonna go with green and purple, but mainly just green. So I'm gonna show you how I make one of the styles, which is not that hard. We just choose one of these greens, so we either go for like a muddy green, or we go for like the regular greens here. I think we're gonna go for a regular one. I'm gonna go for something that's bright. Yeah, I'm gonna go for something that's bright because last time we used green, we used like a dark green. So we are choosing, which one is this? Okay, this like second to last one here. Then we're gonna go to stroke and sometimes we'll do like a lighter stroke or a darker one, but I think we're gonna go lighter. We can check out those muddy ones, the muddy greens. That looks decent, sort of, I guess. So we're gonna just make it three stroke is gonna be at three then we go over to style and i usually choose either this what is that what is that i don't know the word for that whatever we either choose this thing here that's circled or we choose this one it just goes different ways but i think we're gonna go with this one because i like that better and we can keep it black it's the shadow right yes the shadow duh it says it right there we can either go with the black shadow or we can do another thing where it's like now it's like different you know what i kind of like the way that this muddy one looks behind it we may go with that which i think is one of our presets but yes that is how I change it up. Pretty sure that is one of my styles that I've saved already. Let's see. And it's not. Well, look at that. New style saved. Ready for our next video. So now we're gonna press done. We're gonna change the sizing. And then we're gonna do the other one. So I named this thumbnail tips. So now we have to do tips. And then we're gonna go into style again. And then we're just gonna press those three lines and press the first one there. And then we're done. Should I make thumbnail two separate words? I don't know. We're changing it up. Let's do no tilt. Now that I moved that there, it looks better. But we're not gonna do a tilt. We are gonna, however, make you a little bit bigger. And then we're gonna move you to the middle. Thumb nail tips. Could be better, but I like it still. So. <laughs> so then we're gonna press that little save export little button there. You're gonna press save image. And then we're gonna go back over to procreate. We're just gonna put that on top of this layer because it doesn't really matter. So add, insert photo, bam, she go right on top of it. Look at that. How are you so vibrant and I didn't even put anything on you yet? So now is when we add in our little stuff. So we may do like a little, uh, maybe we could do different brushes. That looks pretty decent. That another loose one right there. Yeah, why not? Look at that, bam, amazing. Should I add one right there? Yeah, look at that, how nice. Okay, we kind of like that. Okay, so we may just leave it at this because right now nothing's coming to mind. It's a bit plain, but it's whatever. Just a little bit. Sorry. I like that legit habit of mine, and every time I record a video, I have to stop myself from doing that. Anyways, so this is what we're going to leave it at. Even though I really want to zhuzh it up with something else, but we are going to zhuzh it up with something else, so. Press the wrench again, then press share. Save it as a JPEG once again. Save image. And now we're going to go over to Pixar, whoop, whoop. Press plus here, press your recent image. And now we're just gonna go over to brushes. Then we're gonna press this first star little brush right here, which is, you know, that's what, that's the star brush that I use. I mean, we can use the other star brushes. You don't have to use the specific one that I use, you know? So now we're just gonna like, you know, brush the stars onto the screen in areas that we want it there you go look at that look at all those beautiful stars apply so look at that quick easy done now we're gonna move on to fx and then since my settings is already there but you're just gonna go to blur or you can press color if you don't think it's vibrant enough and you can just mess around with that you know but every time i mess with that it makes my skin look orange and i don't love that 
But anyways, it ends up decreasing it once you go to blur and you press smart blur. And so here is where this effect happens, if you see that. So I don't know, I use this I usually play around, it's not the same in every video. Put max blur at 10, hardness at freaking, hardness at 35, in fade at 13, or should we have it at 15? We're gonna put it at that, bam. Look at that. Now, you're basically done. You're gonna save that, then just review it, just look at it again. You're done. That's it. Um, tell me what more you want to see, since, you know, I enjoy doing what you want me to do. I mean, I enjoy doing what I want to do, but usually what you want me to do is what I want to do, but I just need the motivation to do. And then seeing you guys talk about how you want to see me do that thing that you want me to do that I want to do, I then do it. But anyways, thank you for watching. Follow my Instagram. I post some cool photos on there. Basically, what we just did here is kind of what I do to my Instagram photos. Check out my Depop, which one of you asked me if I'm going to list more of the stuff that I'm going to sell, which I am. I just like to spread it out so I'm not posting like 50 things at once. Check out, yeah, uh, links, other videos, playlists. SoundCloud, since that's where I use majority of my music, and some of y'all have been asking where do I get my music from. Um, yeah. Enjoy your day. See you later. Peace out. Bye bye.